I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 26th of May 2022 and I'm here in Leon, Nicaragua on the daily vlog of life in Central America with Don who's been here for about a month almost staying in Nicaragua with his family and is a viewer on the show so that's how we met and uh, they came in to Leon which is the last place that you're going uh, yes. more or less within Nicaragua. This is coming to the end of your time and uh, you guys came in last night and if you watch the video I talk about the incredible rain last night and uh, going out to Sundance for dinner and meeting up and then today uh, I started the day and had a um, crazy amount of work. This whole week has been just busy. So in the office um, as much as I could this morning and then in the early afternoon gathered uh, my kids and Kat came with me and we headed out to the beach and Don and his family came out uh, to the beach as well. We went out to the Simple Beach Lodge and we spent uh, the entire afternoon and evening out on the beach on the Pacific uh, hanging out and here's Dior who is a fan of the channel as well and she wants to get in. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me, guys, what do you think of Nicaragua? You've been here for several weeks. You have had a lot of experiences. You've been to a number of different places. Give me your your take, your feedback, your impressions. Uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, the people here are amazing, uh, kind, helpful, uh, especially uh, to, to foreigners. They're absolutely amazing. Um, we started off in Granada. Uh, then uh, we took a, a two-day trip to Madagalpa. Absolutely beautiful. We fell in love with Madagalpa. He's like, oh well, we're, we're going to stay in Madagalpa. We've already got it set. Then we took a trip to Rivas. Ah, uh, fell in love with Rivas. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's it. No, nothing can get better than Rivas. Then we came here to Lyon and it got even better. Turned out great. <laughs> uh, uh, our day at the beach was absolutely beautiful uh, for Dior. <laughs> she got to play with your daughter, Scott, had a ball at uh, Simple, uh, Simple Beach Lodge. You guys got to check it out. Absolutely amazing right off the beach. <laughs> Make sure that's the, uh, the next thing. Next time we come here, it's going to be uh, on the top of our list. We're going to stay there because uh, we stayed here in Volcano House, which was uh, pretty good. I'm going to show it real quick just so you can see this beautiful pool here. This is my first time here at Volcano Hostel. We're right in the middle of El Centro. Just kind of real quick, kind of. I don't see any of the rooms or anything, but it's a, it's a really cute spot. And these, like I always say, these beautiful spots just hidden in the city. It's a colonial structure. And from the outside, you would never guess. You barely even know a hostel's here. Like there's a sign, but like, it, but it's right it in the heart of it. It actually looks like a store. If you just look, uh, you it know, does, yeah. It's, it's, they actually have a store in the front, and then you have to go past the store to get to your, your room. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a lot of hostels do that. It's mm -hmm. a fairly, if you get used to it, you kind of know that that look could be a hostel, but if you're new to hostels, like it's really surprising. And this is um, what we call kind of a high end hostel. So they have, they have some lower cost rooms. They have, I think, some shared rooms, but this is mostly like pretty classy independent like uh, individual rooms like you would expect in a hotel hostel only denotes a cost and feature range it does not mean shared rooms which a lot of americans kind of assume um that it's it's a little bit different meaning than what you might expect uh well what i would say about uh, nicaragua if you're planning on visit uh don't listen to the naysayers because we got it a lot like oh why would you choose nicaragua listen to your inside voice <laughs> visit nicaragua uh we haven't had a uh, we haven't visited a bad city yet, but we're kind of thinking about Lyon. Uh, this this will be our our uh, our forever home when we come back. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful, and we can't wait to find our forever home here. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and the burgers are delicious. We just had our first burger. Today. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to go with you guys for doing that, but Leon is famous for its hamburgers. Nicaragua is a beef location in general, and and I've said this before. It is almost on par with Argentina and Brazil. Someone said, are you trying to say it can compete with, I said almost, right? Argentina and Brazil are the world's two best beef locations along with Japan. Like those three are the, the like absolute complete pinnacle. But uh, Nicaragua is a uh, direct on par competitor with places like the United States. Um, it's like really high end steaks, really good beef just in general. Although it is hard to find steak places. So it's a weird like, the, the expensive beef is either going to private uh, or for export. So we do have great steak restaurants, but they're not on every corner or anything like that. But here in Leon, hamburgers across the country are just well known. But here in Leon, it is the specialty of Leonese cuisine is street burgers that are absolutely enormous and hot dogs that are 
pretty good size. Those are those are the things. If you're not doing those, you haven't really tried the Leon food specifically. Uh, one more thing, you gotta try the nachos at his spot. Uh, simple, <laughs> simple Beach Lodge. <laughs> I got the half order and we couldn't, me and my daughter couldn't finish them. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show and for coming to visit us in Leon. Really like, this appreciate is, it. The this hospitality, is the... Scott, it was beautiful. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> thank you. Beautiful. It's really amazing that having people come in from the show, like you met us from yeah, the I vlog. Had, I was watching and I was like, wow. We, I was like, hey, can we meet up? Because, you know, when we get there to go to Lee, he's like, sure, come on. <laughs> and, and it just is a dream come true. <laughs> Especially um, for my daughter. She says she's never met a, a famous YouTuber before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that she has all, now, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a huge compliment and it was so awesome to have you here as well. Like this has been really fun and we hope to see you guys again really soon. Definitely and we'll, will. when you come back, we gotta get you on the show and like maybe talk about your experiences moving down yes. and not just exploring but actually making actually it moving down here, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Cause, and you guys got to hang out with Kat yesterday. Who, yes, Kat was wonderful. <laughs> and she's only been here for I think she's now on um like 10 days, 12 days, somewhere in the 10 to 12 days. Um, and she's never lived outside the US since she was a little child and has only visited a couple places. So she's still in the, I don't know how anything works and I can't believe I'm in Nicaragua stage. Yeah, just so, as we are. Like, right. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah, you've been here three times as much as she has. <laughs> right. And we don't want to leave. We, uh, we leave next uh, Wednesday and yeah, it's getting pretty sad towards the end. We don't want to leave, but we know we have to go back and get things uh, situated and ready. Uh, so it is what it is. All right. Well, I'm so we glad you guys. Nicaragua doesn't owe us anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so glad that you guys could be on the show today. And for the viewers recording this tomorrow, as I typically do, it is the day that Stranger Things 4 is out. So once I'm done here, I'm heading back, wrapping up things with work, grabbing Liesl. We are binging the rest of Stranger Things 4, and we are waiting for the permits to show up from the police for the opening of Los Mangos. And if that gets opened, we may be jumping in a car and heading to El Viejo for the opening of the bar tonight. And if not, we should be going up tomorrow because fingers crossed we'll have the permits by then. We were supposed to have them last night. It's only a few hours delayed, so everything is moving fine. That is the plan. I'm wrapping it up from here. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment below, say hi to Don, say hi to Dior, and- Can uh, I give a shout out? Uh, absolutely. Uh, to my daughter, Shadon, Shelby, Kennedy, our cousins, Sean, Damon, uh, Aaron, uh, uh, Casey, Sid, I love you guys. We'll be home soon. <laughs> All right. And hi, Dad, because you're always there and I never do a shout out. So now we'll know. You can mention it in the, in the comments if you actually watch to the end. We'll know. All right. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>